What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a super fun video for you guys today because my wife is behind the camera. That's right, we are married now. <laughs> and we are on our honeymoon here in Tasmania, the little island off the bottom of Australia. And while I was here, I thought I can't not play the oldest basket course in Australia. So we're here at the beautiful Poimino Reserve and you guys just wait till you see some of the views of the other side. The Australian Championships were played at this course and so I thought I've got to come and check it out. We're not going to play the exact layout that was played there because there were different OBs and islands and different layout and stuff. So we're just going to play a few of the holes here, just show you some of what this course has to offer. It's going to be awesome. We're super excited. It's lovely here in Tasmania. Let's get to it. All right, I think this is hole one here. 112 meters, some trees in the way. Try and flex a vulture there. In the Through the gap. <laughs> I don't know if it went through, but we're down there. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check this out. Oh my goodness, you just walk up the hill a little bit. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> so cool. Very, very downhill. This is insane. I was gonna try and lay up the path. Look at this, home of the 2023 Australian Disc Golf Championships. Very nice. Hole two, it's down there in the end, 86 meter par three, and Joseph decided to go forehand with the buzz to avoid those trees right there. So I think that's perfect, add to that gap get into the gap and set up for a nice second shot. Well, oh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the zone. There we go. All right, very windy, long three. Part three, can't see the basket from here. 104 meters ish down there, right to left slope. I'm gonna try and just match the slope with the buzz and put it close so Joseph can put it in, hopefully. It's like, it's not super wooded, but it's very technical, don't you think? That was pretty good. I hit the line. Yeah, so no rollaways yet. We gotta fight. That's it, that's it. Okay. Oh, devastating. <laughs> Alright, All right, hole number four. I recognize this hole, or at least a similar one from coverage. Yeah, it was. It was hole eight at the Australian Chance. This is what I came to play this massive uphill hole. You can't even see the basket from back there. A really long shot would give you a short approach. I saw some people throwing rollers, all that sort of stuff. I'm just gonna throw my nuke. Hopefully rip it, get it straight, give me a decent approach because it is only 140 meters, so it should be a gettable birdie, hopefully for the first one of the day. Cool, I got the thumbs up. It wasn't an amazing throw, but we're up there and past the trees, so it should be a look for a birdie. The camera just does not do this justice, guys, how steep this hill is. It's crazy. Hi. We should have a putt for our first Tasmanian birdie. All right, Joseph's got this putt downhill into a headwind. Yes! Birdie! And now I come over the hill. And you come out to this. I mean, wow. That's all. That's all we can say, isn't it? Wow. Hole five, 116 meter par three. Very downhill and big drop off just after the basket. I should mention I don't have many discs here with me because obviously we're on holiday, so I'm gonna throw the buzz I'll just straight downhill and see how it goes. I 
tree. Good job. You probably can't see it from here, guys, but as I mentioned on the tee, there's a severe drop off behind the basket. So the goal is to like skid it up short and have a short putt. Oh, this is crazy, crazy in this wind. Um, gonna give it a go with the zone. Sit down. Oh man. Whoa. That's really short. Oh, it was good. Thank you. <laughs> Dead butt. Definitely. Oh. 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 All right, I may have played that hole wrong. I'm not sure. Could have played from the wrong tee pad, but I found hole number six. It's a 76 meter par three. Severe slope, as is common with all these holes. I still try and throw zone on a forehand. Maybe just like flat and hope that it doesn't hit on too much of an angle and then roll down the hill. So. But we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Did it roll? It could be. Yeah. Well. <laughs> 30 chance. Yeah. Yeah, getting some getting some strokes back after that triple bogey or whatever it was on the last time. I'm gonna keep saying it guys, but these hillsides are insane. Like, can you, I don't know if you can see how steep this goes down there. I mean, the view's amazing. Let me just show you that as well. I'm just gonna keep telling you about the view also. Wow, we Stunning. And you can't even see the, the basket for this shot. It's a blind shot, 113 meter path of the hill. Joe's just setting out there the spot, which is awesome. Chuck a forehand, I mean, new cup there, and then Big headwind, so I'm very scared this is going to flip over. But, yeah, there we go. No. Dang it, that's unfortunate. We'll try Vulture. Heads up. Okay, second one was good. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, so I'm two over with two holes to go. So hoping to get two birdies. It might be a bit much to ask for and to get to even par. 66 meter par three. So you'd think super, super easy, really short, but very, very technical, not a huge gap and a big slope as per the usual. So I'm just gonna smooth the bars out there, just flat, maybe a little bit of turn and just have it nestle in hopefully close to the bar. Uh, oh. Yeah, not great. Not great, two turned over. Unfortunately, my second one, I threw a forehand zone and it's basically parked, but he ever got, uh, we understand why it's really hard now because massive drop off behind the basket, but. Oh, I thought I had a chance. Oh, so this is that great. Oh, this would have been a nice one. All right, folks, we have skipped to hole 18 because hole, no, I was taking us back the other way and we want to head out of here and get to our accommodation. But this, like, you probably see some of these bars because they're just in the background. Hole 16, 17, just looks so fun. There's just like hills everywhere, drop offs everywhere. It's a hike. We are feeling it. It is um, very uphill and downhill. Um, we're going to play hole 18. It looks a lot further than it is, but playing sort of across the road, through the Mandos, to the basket out on the hill there. It's 100 and, I think 100, I say 106 meters or something. Hopefully we get close, finish without a roll away and without a bogey, that would be awesome. I think to try and get close to the basket, I'm gonna try and flex a Nuco Este. So a lot of disc, but it'll hopefully find the hillside and flex back and get close. So we'll see. Nowhere. What on earth? Final hole. Not quite the birdie we were after, but it's okay. Let's see if we can throw one in. What do you reckon about that? Sit! Sit! Alright, folks. That is the Windy round here at a 
that the Australia's oldest bass of course at the point where the the time. Uh, we only played nine holes, but it looks like there were lots more other fun ones to be had. So if you're in Tasmania at all, I would highly recommend checking this course out. It is a workout, it's fun, there's lots of buckle down here. Nothing like what we have in Brisbane. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully the wind wasn't too annoying in the audio, but I um, hope you've had a wonderful day. Make sure you make great for somebody else. And